I wish they would have asked Jimmy and Chelsea if they were together currently. I feel like we were wrong. I wanted more Chelsea and Jimmy convo and questions. Something Why spotlight the three here. weeks Season ago they were just wanting to end now. They're just together. They're 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 together. Shirt. Oh man, you, you wanna... remember these pants? These are the pants you dumped me in. <laughs> this, is a, this is a jacket I dumped you in. Oh, <laughs> you excited for this? We're gonna do each other's makeup. Yeah, I'm nervous for you. Right now, I'm gonna be honest with you. All I do is brush my teeth and wash my and go to bed. Do you ever use these? They're the patches for your pimples. They're amazing. I put one on this morning. It basically They're eliminated. Amazing. I know, the right? Ones that I had it's right between my eyeballs. Some eye cream. Have you ever used that before? What about being so tired from staying up all night from this traumatic <laughs> experience that we've been going through? What made you want to sign up for it? Let's start with that. It just allowed me to build a relationship with someone that loves me for who I am and, mm -hmm. you know, just build an emotional connection without seeing what that person looks like. So do you think you found that? I'm going to put some serum on you and you're going to love it. Isn't that nice? What? That feels great. Isn't it? Yeah, it's cooling. Wow. I feel hydrated. I know you were really nervous during the whole experiment about certain things that you really didn't want to talk about. And there's a lot of insecurities that I deal with. Um, I mean, we all do, right? But yeah. what I've learned through it is there's a ton of personal growth, you know? Oh, for sure. So, you know, I've always cared what people thought of me a lot. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But coming yeah. to do a freaking makeup shoot with you is... It's also breaking down some more boundaries, you know? This is what you need to be using every day, okay? Okay. Moisturizer, my boy. Where was I going with that? Will you help me? Let's talk about the friend situation. <laughs> like, what, why were you so uncomfortable about that to begin with? It came from a place of me caring about my friends. Of course, and that's, I care about my friends as it, well, but it we didn't were about mean to get I married. It didn't mean I didn't care about you. Yeah, it meant that's what it felt that, like. I know, and I get where you're coming from. Yeah. You wanted to talk to me about it. I felt it was a little disrespectful in the fashion you brought it up. But that was an issue I had in our relationship. That was our biggest issue, you know? So uh, the going out thing. Oh my goodness. It, look, it, look, I know it's a piece of it. It's a huge piece of it. I'm trying to get married to you. We had three weeks to realize if we were getting married. I know. Is it wrong of me to think I, I should go ha be able to go have a drink with the, I mean, with the fellas? It's not the fellas. It was the girlfriends a lot of the time. Okay. Well, the idea that you wanted me to step back from having girlfriends is fair. It wasn't the fact that you had girlfriends that was the issue for me. It was the lack of respect and the lack of boundaries. And I'm over here like, I have friends too, my boy. Like, oh, I have friends, I have a life, I have two jobs, but my whole life was you. Put this on your lips too. It, it's kind of uh... a... <laughs> my perspective of it is like gripping onto our relationship and really going in mm. on everything. You were thinking I was clingy because I was making you dinner, making you lunch. Like, I was, I was up your ass because I was trying to show you the kind of wife I could be to you, right? Yeah. All right. This setting spray is so good. Stay all night microfine setting spray. This is literally what I wear when I go out all the time. So you should start incorporating it into your going out routine. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Close your mouth. <laughs> is that nice? Mmm. Mmm. Yes. I look pretty. Yeah. I highlighted all of my favorite parts of you. Aww. And made you, you blush even more. You look great. Thank you. Like always. <laughs> <laughs> my turn? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with start? Power Grip Primer. This is just very clingy like me. It really clings your makeup on to your face. I didn't think I was clingy. I really didn't. I rub it in. And then all over your face? Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> you trust me? Um, I, I wouldn't. I did. <laughs> I feel like I, I'm putting sunblock on my toddler. Come here. <laughs> Do you have kids? No. <laughs> Ooh, the camo cream. I hear this is good stuff. Okay. All my girlfriends love it. That's right. Okay. I'll stop. I'm just messing. It was funny the one time. Okay. Um. 
You gotta help me. I don't know what I'm doing. You're doing great, sweetie. Come on. Ugh. You can use a brush or something if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> I need your help. It's okay. What was your most favorite thing about the experience? Me and you. I don't know. Your patience with me through mm -hmm. all of it was, was my favorite part. You're, um, that was a lot. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, you, you were, um, you were great. Like, this is right up your alley. You act, yeah. I actually, like, notice your makeup looks great every time. Thank so you. I'm sorry you're having to. I always felt my best because I always made sure to feel my best and make sure I felt good. So, like, I wasn't secure in our relationship. It wasn't that I wasn't secure with myself. Right. I was just insecure in, like, you know, where we were. Yeah. Wait, you're so pretty. <laughs> well, I said we haven't been this close in a while. We haven't. We're going to fix this, and we're going to fix it with some contour, and we're going to add a little darker. Okay, so why don't we do the darker shade of halo? There you go. Okay. You got a big attitude. You? I got a big attitude? This is not news to me. You're sassy. Yeah, a little bit. You're hard-headed. You're hard-headed. I know, but you are too, so double whammy. We've been yeah. hanging out a lot. You've been my support <clears throat> system. You've been really helping me through this crazy journey. Yeah, I got your back. We didn't have the ending we wanted, but you're a great person. You're a great friend. And I still love my time I spent with you, even though yeah. we're, not, we're not together like that. Yeah. But I, I still love you, Doug. That's normal for us, I think. Yeah. I think you're a good person. I'm a good person. So, of course, we're going to, you know, want to hang out more. I like being able to show our... Wait, wait, smile for me. The oh. Cheese. <laughs> you did not. Who taught you that? Someone's cooked here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was... Great. <laughs> it's great now. Why don't you just grab that one? Which one? I meant the other one, but that one's good. This one? No, no, no. That's good. That's good. Yeah. The little one? That's good. This one. Big guy. Yeah. So just kind of go in there. Yeah. I don't think anybody saw even a portion of how fun we were together and how amazing. Like, we had such a beautiful, beautiful story. Aww. We did. You don't think so? We did. We no, did. Just, your blush. It's cute. <laughs> You're um. <laughs> No, we had a we had great chemistry. I, I wish more people saw why yeah. we were why we were sticking together so much. Yeah, yeah. and why we were fighting. That was good. You can't tell me. <gasps> you did great. Oh, I hate when you say that. <laughs> Aww. I did good. You did. All right. So this is the Halo Glow setting powder. So we use a lot of this. I do. I cake myself in this. I take a bath in it. Really? Yeah, literally. See how shiny I am. <laughs> it's okay, we can, we can. It looks like you ate a bunch of powdered donuts. <laughs> <laughs> you look phenomenal. Shut up. Since the experiment ends, what's your like outlook on love now? But keep blatting while you're talking. Uh, <laughs> I need all the help I can get. I might need a, I might need a second to think about that. Um, you know, being mm -hmm. vulnerable leads you to good people and mm -hmm. the people that care to be around you and pick you up when you're vulnerable, those are the people I want in my life. And so mm -hmm. the ability to really put myself out there has changed how I view yeah, everything, not absolutely. just relationship-wise. Yeah. Going through the experiment, finding someone, falling in love with someone, having that amazing connection with someone, moving in together, and then having a breakup and having to heal from it physically, mentally, doing all the work on yourself to make yourself better, and then having to relive it. It's like, that's the most crazy situation is like reliving it. Yeah. Like reliving our situation and reliving us. Yeah. I need to like, I feel like I'm just now going through that breakup, although yeah. it was a year ago at this mm -hmm. point. And so um, it's weird. I, I can't fathom getting into another relationship right now. I need mm -hmm. to reheal again, even though I spent the last 10 months healing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you feel that same way, but. Totally, yeah. Okay, so let's move on to eyeshadow. Okay, so do we stick with my safe zone? This is my comfort zone? Or do we stick to the theme of what we've been doing? <laughs> or where I get out of my comfort We're zone? Blue. 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 Please. Wolf. Okay. <laughs> You're doing great. I got some on your eyebrows. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you look beautiful. 
Is this a date? <laughs> You're cracking. <laughs> if we just met in the real world in a bar, I feel like we would have worked. We would have crushed it because we are so good together. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. If I met you at a bar, easy. Yeah. Sauced. <laughs> I would have, you like, you told me you don't, I'm not the typical type you go for. Mm -hmm. But if we met at a bar, I think things would have been the exact same. I think we just gravitate to each other no matter what. We obviously couldn't stay away from each other for what? It was like six months maybe. Yeah. And we were just gravitating to, towards each other. And, you know, people, a lot of people are asking if we'd ever get back together and revisit that. <coughs> and I always say, never say never because we do. We had such a good connection and such a good bond that. You know, I would totally, yeah. You totally what? <laughs> <Bang>. <laughs> okay. Um, this is your eyelashes. Yeah. Okay, and I brush upwards. Yeah, but don't come in that hot, my boy. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. I'm just gonna guide you. Good job. This is amazing. Okay. So yeah. If you were to change anything that happened during the experiment, what would you change? Um. I definitely would have obviously handled our conflicts very differently. I would have heard you out. I wish I like took the time to like really, really, really listen to you rather than instantly thinking my feelings are valid. I'm in the right. Yeah. I wasn't hearing what you were telling me. Right. And that wasn't fair. Well, I appreciate you saying that. I think, um, you know, in the heat of my argument, I was throwing things at you that you didn't deserve. I think there's a thousand ways to have said everything that I told you in a nicer way. It takes a level of maturity for me to, to step back and you know, put myself in your shoes. You're, you know, what, 10 days, two weeks away from marrying me and that, mm -hmm. that probably um, triggered a lot of things for you. And so yeah. I'm sorry I think for, a piece of me was like, why did you sign up for this? Like you know, I'm balls of blazing, like ready to get married. Like I'm gun ho for you and yeah, you weren't tell. ready. All right. Well, okay. So Lip reviver? Glow yeah. reviver. Yeah. That's f cool. Yeah, super cool. This will hide any taquito blemishes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bit the I'm like, you need to give me a little bit of, like, a little bit of grace there. I was literally mumbling <laughs> for right, two episodes. Let's go. You didn't give me any grace. I'm and giving you grace. You know why I'm giving you grace? Because out of everyone in the world, we Ooh. went through the experience together. Mm -hmm. We're the only people who knows our story. You were, and to this day, right now, are my comfort. Yeah, I, I'm glad I can be your comfort, but I, I'm, I'm, after watching myself, I'm seeing how much I was reiterating how much I love you. And it, even today, it still hurts my feelings a bit to know that you don't think I was ready for that. Yeah, or, you know, your, your words weren't matching your, your actions. When we laid our head down tonight, mm -hmm. or every night, <laughs> when we lay our head down at night, mm -hmm. when we were in the experiment, every, every bit of those conversations is exactly what I want in a wife. Yeah, yeah, and then words. Thing, things changed on camera a bit. Okay. I love you with my whole heart. I'll always love you, but I'm tired of the feelings. I don't want to cry anymore. <laughs> I've done that enough. <laughs> okay. Do you trust me? <laughs> I think it looks great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Howard. Okay, that's it. That's it. <laughs> well, uh, you, you really don't butcher that, huh? No, oh, <laughs> love you. All right, I don't have my wings here, but I still have my wings, so I'm gonna fly the elf on out of here. So. <laughs> Hey.